Angeles, California. It's Landed Late Night. Tonight's guest, Lexi Donato. And now, your host, Haley. Welcome to Land and Late Night with me, your host Haley Ringo. Tonight we have a woman who created her own swimwear line called LDLA, and you guys, everyone needs these swimsuits. Um, they hug every right part of your body and show up all the good parts of your body. She created this company to empower women to be inclusive. Um, she is an absolutely phenomenal person, and she's been Landed's biggest supporter since day one. Please welcome Lexi Donato. Oh, look at you girl with that ultra beer. You've been sitting backstage, she's like ready to go. I am. Oh it's actually gone. So. It's, she's like, I just brought it for, for show. I know, for nope. show. You can take that away. There's a take. little bit of a, yeah, well, I got you champagne. Girl, you know I'm not going to let you down. I got a drink for you. Cheers. You never do. Welcome to my show. I'm so excited. I'm so happy to be here. Uh, your hair looks amazing. Since day one. Thanks. Yeah. I got it done today. Well, girl, you rocking it. I okay. have the best stylist, Nicole McCall. Oh. Shout out to you, girl. Shameless plug. Okay, here you go, girl. She's we love honestly you. the best. So. Yeah. Ugh. Wow. Well, you look incredible. Red shoes on fleek. Actually, those are orange, aren't they? Orange shoes on. We don't know, but oh, whatever. They on fleek, girl. Uh, Thank uh, you. Uh, uh, uh. I was actually going to wear your suit, but then I... I was like, no, I didn't get a spray tan, <laughs> so I can't. Um, but I, I have someone coming on later that I think is gonna is gonna rock your swimwear. Oh, really? Perfectly. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Yeah. I'm actually wearing mine under this. Oh, are you? Versatile. They are so <laughs> versatile. Actually, they are though. Like you could literally wear them out as a shirt. I did. I have uh, worn them as shirts to the club. Yeah. Um, or oh. body suits. That's or my body favorite. Suits. Wearing the body suits out, and then people yes. are like. Oh my gosh, I love that. Where's it from? I'm like, it's mine. Yeah, you're like, it's my company. I made it. No, I, girl, this, okay, so you guys, this swimmer line, LDLA, um, she doesn't do actual sizes, so there's no small, medium, large, extra large, XXL. It's all Greek goddesses, yeah. which is incredible because, like, it takes all the stigma away from, like, trying to think about, oh my god, I have to be, a, you know, a, I'm, I'm a small, or I'm a medium, or I'm a large. Like, you don't have to think about that. Yeah. And it just, like, it makes you You're not you a size. Yeah, you are not your You size. are a goddess. <laughs> you are you empowered. You embrace the goddess. Yeah, embrace, embrace everything. Oh. <laughs> I, you know what, though? I actually like living in L.A. because I feel like... Maybe it's because of the Kardashians, I don't know, but, like, hips are encouraged, and, like, being more, like, womanly yeah. and curvy is a good thing. Yeah. And I feel like that was never the case, like, growing up in Texas, I don't know, that wasn't really talked about. But now I'm yeah. here, and I'm like, I'm like, yes, like, I just love all the hips. I'm trying to get a fat oh, ass know. on me, you know, there I'm trying to do, like, them <laughs> fat ass. Mom's like, what? I'm trying to, like, you know, I do think there's, like, yeah, the, work there's out things the that you can buy that, like, gives you a butt. Like, what are they called? No, butt, yeah, no, butt no, no. pads? Well, yes, that. But then have you seen the cutouts? They're, like, Spanx, but the butt is you cut know, out. That's what I'm I own about. some. <laughs> I'm not wearing them right okay. now, but... I was going to um, say, get up and do a twirl. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, um, it would look a lot different. No, I actually, mine are like, it's, they're harder with anything tight because in reality, because it looks so insane that it's like, okay, clearly either she like got surgery or like something's going on. But either way, I bought some, I wear them shamelessly sometimes and um, I just gave away all twerking my secrets. Twerking only. Yeah, twerking only. If you see my butt and it's ever like this, it's <laughs> false reality. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, so... Um, freaking LDLA, I know you have spent yeah. so much time into this company and invested so much money, mm -hmm. um, and, you know, it's been such a dream come true. When I met you, you were just starting it. I know, and how it crazy is, is that? It's insane, because it's not been a super long time, mm -mm. and I feel like everything is just taken off. It's, it's just, yeah. it's, and you have such a huge following already with the swimmer line, which is incredible to see, mm -hmm. and girls are just loving, I mean, it literally hugs, so you know how, like, even this is doing, it, it, I love how this top wears on me because it goes all the way over mm -hmm. here. And in the back, it cuts in here. So you don't have any of like this weird fat hanging over mm -hmm. on the sides, which I love how it's cut. It just literally hugs. Y'all, any picture you see me in a yellow swimsuit, that is Lexi's. <laughs> it's LDLA. I wear that thing all the oh time. Gosh, I like, love it. And I always see like, like, or, you know, LDLA was tagged in something, and mm -hmm. I look, and I'm like, oh, Haley's looking good in this photo. <laughs> I don't need another And this one, and this yeah. one, and this one. It's like the whole feed is just yellow. so good. Girl, it's all you. It's your design. Aww. I mean, I'm going to rep what it's I love. your body. You know what I'm saying? It's my There you body. go. I rocked your swimsuit all in Cabo, and I, I will forever now, Um, but... 
Yeah, I get so many compliments literally every time I wear it. And your colors are flawless, like the baby blue, Dang. the yellow, the black. Like, it's just... It's been really fun and vibrant. That's your personality. It, it, yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> Honestly, this brand has become, like, such a brain trial of, like, who I am as a person, mm-hmm. what I love, uh, what I stand for. And it's been really cool to see and it be so receptive across mm-hmm. the board. Um, young and old, older people. <laughs> yeah. No, but it's it's because it's, I mean, you have, like, first of all, the swimsuits are incredible. Um, They are cut so well, and they're so flattering on all body types, Mm -hmm. so obviously people are going to love them. But two, like, the heart behind the company also Mm -hmm. is beautifully shared, um, and I I mean, it very much reflects who you are as a person, Mm -hmm. uh, which is so cool to see. Um, So how did you come up with LDLA and, and the whole, like, the Greek goddess idea and not having any sizes? I just think that is, it's so unique, and it's so cool. And I just love it so much. Oh, thank you. (laughs) Honestly, um, so the name just came upon me. I'm like, I want to do something that's easy to say, something that represents me. Um, And Los Angeles, Mm -hmm. the place I've lived for eight or more years now and that I, you know, um, relate to so well. So LDLA just formed. And then the goddess sizing just kind of evolved organically I there wasn't a there wasn't like a day where I'm just like oh I want to do goddess sizing or or this this and that it was just like I really wanted to create a brand that was inclusive yeah and that woman felt that they you know they could shop and not be so discouraged by the size that they were getting and so um like already I had colors in mind for the brand and what I wanted it to be and Mm -hmm. it just kind of just like flowed into you know what I want to do goddess sizing so that people can feel empowered and feel beautiful and know that they're wonderfully made so all Which of you my have written. swimmer yes. yeah. yeah so all my swimmer has an imprint on it that says wonderfully made so that you never forget the truth of your beloved beauty and knowing that you you know were formed in like a beautiful image yeah. and created so beautifully so um you know the three I would say like kind of cornerstones of my brand are um that it's numberless sizing with the goddess sizing um it's body positive with the wonderfully made knowing and believing that you are wonderfully made and then it's eco-friendly so it's a sustainable brand made from regenerated nylon so it's just been it's been incredible um to just see everything unfold and just um and I almost can't take the I mean, it is my brand, and I've built it from the ground up, but I almost feel so bad taking the credit for everything because it has just been so, like, inspired by God and just evolved to be something so powerful and revolutionary, really, having no sizes. And, um, yeah, so it's been a crazy journey, and from conception to launch, it was only eight months to, you know, find a manufacturer, do the designing developed the brand, the website, and a lot of that I did by myself. Well, obviously I have a manufacturer, but, like, yeah. the creative part of it was done by myself. Yeah, which, that yeah. that's insane. Like, mm-hmm. you've done this in eight months. Mm-hmm. You didn't have a designer. You were the designer. Like, you came up with all the concepts, the colors, the sizing, like, the marketing campaign, your website, like, you're reaching out to influencers and connecting with brands and mm-hmm. getting sponsored. Like, that is so much work for one person, and it's so inspiring to see, like, you had this idea and this conception, like, this idea of what you wanted to conceive in a in a label, in a company, and then you just made it happen. Yeah. You know? And so, every, like, guys, anyone watching this, you can freaking do it. Like, yeah. it. You can do it. You can. Like, step into your purpose, I would say, is, like, the step one. Step into it. <laughs> step into purpose. Step up in this bitch, like. It's true when you feel like something so heavy or passionate on your heart, like you need to lean into that because it's yeah. there for a reason. You Absolutely. know, we're given intuition for a reason and ideas yeah. for a reason. And I think it's so important to like when you really feel like you should do something, do it no matter if people are telling you not to do it, mm-hmm. which I was in a job where like the job, like my boss has basically said like, you can't do it. The swim space is so saturated. And I took that and I'm like, no, I'm meant to do this. And I ended up quitting the job like a month later. Um, it was like the full-time job I was working at the time. And it was just like, no matter what, what hurdles are in your way, what people are telling you not to do, mm-hmm. 
when you lean into your purpose and step into it, there's nothing stopping you because although those people are telling you no, there's so many other things working in your favor. And I think that's like one of the most beautiful and miraculous things that have happened through the LDLA journey has been like, I've seen miracles like happen. People just so willing to help me. And it's been so cool to be on the receiving end because my whole life I have always been a giver. Like I love giving to people and sometimes it's hard to receive, Mm -hmm. but in this journey I needed to learn to receive. And when I did, it was just amazing how people just like lend their hands, their resources. And, you know, we're a huge part in creating and launching this brand that, you know, a lot of the, yeah, the creativity was me, but it was everyone along the way that helped support me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's like what you were saying about leaning into your purpose. Like when you, I I love what you said about you have this intuition Mm -hmm. and there's, there's always something that everyone has. It's like, if you couldn't fail at it, and and you would for sure succeed, Mm -hmm. what would you do, you know? Yeah. And everyone has that thing. Everyone knows deep down, like, what that is, or at least, like, an inkling of what that could look like, right? Yeah. Um, But along with that, like, even when you're walking your purpose, you're going to face opposition. Yeah. um, But there's also going to be blessing. And, Mm -hmm. like, I know, like, even with this, I had this guy um, approach me at Noya House, this co-working space I work out of, and just, like, was like so negative about landed he was like oh like you're gonna you know it's gonna take forever to to make it happen and you're not gonna find any sponsorships and like I you know when you just feel like this negative energy coming in and you're like wow this is total like honestly felt like warfare I was like I felt like I couldn't move and I was like I don't want to be a part of this conversation anymore like you are just speaking death over what I know God has called me to do so like bye But inside, I was just like, I felt so defeated when I left the conversation, and I, I actually called Sarah, my assistant, and she was just like, no, like, if that is the worst thing right. that can happen, like, you, like, yeah. you're good to go, you Yeah, know? well, I mean, there's times that that happens, like, right after I launched, I started pitching media, and I used to be a publicist, so, mm-hmm. you know, I have connections in that realm, and so I was, <laughs> it was so funny, like, along those lines, I was pitching BuzzFeed, and I get a message back that night like maybe like an hour later saying like um I'm sorry but me nor anyone over a size 14 will ever fit your swimwear and I'm thinking in my head I'm like my swimwear fits small to 3xl yeah and like probably girls up to like size 22 like I don't know the numerical but like uh clearly fit this yeah so I was just like so mad so upset and I'm like why are you hating like yeah. you know and it really it shook me because I, you know, I was so, you know, I'm so close to my brand. Well, and then when your heart behind it is to be inclusive yeah. and to make everyone feel oh, yeah. safe and I'm love, like, that feels I'm like, like a you are so attack. mistaken. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. I'm like, uh, you didn't do your research, but, you know, I was just, like, more so hurt by it. And I'm like, I decided not to, like, email them back or anything because, you know, like, that's their prerogative to have an opinion or a comment. But, um, yeah, there's things that come along the way that, like, are unmerited. Mm-hmm. And can be so wrong and yeah. unvalid yeah. that you just need to be like, okay, yeah. there you go. That's why it's important to have people around you that are going to lift you up in those times of discouragement and build yeah. you and like remind you of who you are and, mm-hmm. and what your value is and what your purpose yeah. is because you're going to have opposition, like I said, and it's like, but it's it's the the key is looking at the positives, right? It's so easy. Um, to think about all the negatives that have happened. Or, like, even if you have, like, six people compliment you in one day and you're like, D- LDLA is the best brand I've ever seen. Like, you are going to be so successful. But then that one person throughout the day says something hateful, and that's all you remember. Yeah, that's all that sticks. Yeah. And it's, and it's so sad mm-hmm. that it's that way. It is. But that's what you have to – That's yeah. like I said, that's why it's important to have people around you. They're going to build you up and be like – Oh, yeah. And tell you when – things are wrong. Like, yeah. For him to say that, that's so wrong, and I'm so glad Sarah was able to speak yeah, truth same. into your life, and it's so important, yeah, to have a support system, a system around you that, like, does speak truth, because mm-hmm. there is so much, you know, false nature and, yeah. like, people around you. 100%. Yeah. Okay, so how did you financially back the company? Like, in eight months, how did you get enough um, moolah to make this happen? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of new brands okay. get investors, and I had watched the Shark Tank episode with Sarah Blakely, who's the the woman that invented Spanx. Oh. And 
I had always loved Shark Tank, and I think it's really cool that they are investors into these new companies, help them grow it. But when Sarah Blakely was on there, she had mentioned that she still owns 100% of her company. And I thought that was really incredible. And so when I was looking to build my brand, I saw, you know, what I had saved and just kind of like, you know, weighed out the options. Like if I get investors, it means this, which it means they have a lot of say in the company. Mm-hmm. It means that they get a portion of everything. And um, and then I looked at what I had in the bank and I'm like, I my whole life I've saved my money. Mm-hmm. Like, and I've worked my whole life mm-hmm. too. And so what I decided to do was just invest my life savings into LDLA, um, just with faith. Yeah, and, 100%. And I did it. And so I own 100% of the company. Yeah, you do, girl. <laughs> That's amazing. And that takes a lot of faith. It does. And it's a lot of money, you know. It's not cheap. No, I would assume not. At all. No. But you know what? So. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be... When you're, I just, I know, like, when you have vision, there's provision, right? Like, you have a vision for a dream, yeah. and God's going to provide. Mm-hmm. And you just have to have faith in what you don't see, um, and that's the hard part. Because there's days yeah. where you can feel really good about that, and you're like, yeah, I feel great. And then other days you wake up, and you're like, is this, am I even on the right track? Like, I feel so defeated. But yeah. it's, like, there's always going to be, I feel like, you know, it's going to work out, and money comes and yeah. goes. And that's yeah. what I've had to look at money like, like, you know, it's with photography, I've always been financially fine, you know, yeah. since college and then starting landed, it's like, it costs money to produce the show, you know, and yeah. money that I don't really have. And I'm taking on less photo gigs because I'm working on the show mm-hmm. more, but like, it's going to be, I just know it's going to be fine. And I feel mm-hmm. like you, I know you, cause you told me this, like you have such a piece about LDLA and it's going to be successful. And so God yeah. is going to provide for what vision you've, you've, he's given you. It's just been crazy. Like two weeks after my launch, I had a meeting with a company, which I can't name right now, but <laughs> I had a meeting with my company and the company, I'd always say like, my goal is to be in this boutique chain. Mm-hmm. And two weeks after launch, I had a meeting with the owner of the whole company she loved my swimmer, and she's like, we're going to take care of you. You're going to be in our boutiques. You're going to be on, you know, online. And I thought that was, like, such an incredible moment because I'm like, literally my whole goal with this company right. was accomplished within two weeks, which obviously you set new goals for yourself. Yeah. Um, and that's going to come to fruition in, like, early 2019. But it was just, it's I been I can't really wait to hear cool. what's about filming who it is because I'm so excited. I know. <laughs> and then, you know, I've already been featured in a couple magazines so far. I've been on some podcasts. Yeah, you just, have, I know. Just a lot of different things have happened that have come to me, a lot of them. And it's just been cool to just be able to, like, share my story and receive yeah. this type of, you know opportunities because I know that in the long run it's empowering others absolutely to get the word out and you know these things are coming to you but you're also working so hard and yeah you've, like put yeah, your I'm whole heart into this company and your whole life and um I just think with hard yeah. work like comes big reward and so yeah. it's very easy to see that with what you're doing and with LDLA and everything yeah. that's come your way and it's so cool to have like women entrepreneurs who are killing it around me that inspire me daily. But, like, I oh, really awesome. love you. <laughs> um, so everyone needs to go buy, like, her swimwear and everything that she sells. Just do it. Just everything. Oh, my gosh. You're so sweet. Well, I want to give you guys a discount code. Oh, we'll let's it later, do it. But... Let's do it. I will attach the discount code to the description of this episode. Um, and you guys can go get your purchase. We'll make the code landed. Yeah, landed. Love it. Love it. Women supporting women. Okay, we gonna get it. Boss bitches in a house. <laughs> friends supporting friends. Friends supporting friends. friends. We love each other. Empower to empower. For sure. For Empowered sure. to empower. I That's love that. That's probably something. I'm going to get that tattooed on my face. I'm <laughs> on my body. I got this one and now I'm like, I'm going to oh, go to show home us. sleep. Show us that. I did get a new tat, you guys. It says no fear. It's still sheen. It's still shiny. Oh, it's because I put, I have to, it's so new, I have to st- like put new sport on it. So it's still like healing. Like, why is it shiny? It's peeling. So if it sh- looks shiny, that's why. Because I'm having to like, you know, clean it, make it good. It but. looks so good. Hey, thanks. The hey, lines thanks. on it. <laughs> okay. Um, we got a game. Okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> My reaction was like that because I suck mm. at games. Well, perfect. Y'all like, gonna get you drunk by the end of the episode. Y'all see this? Like, I'm so, like, calm, cool, collected. 
and this is what this is. Oh my god, look at it! <laughs> and I ain't got no chill but in with me. Game, with games, I'm like, okay, like I need a little time to like figure it out. But well, let's go. The What's goal the of game? this hesitation hot seat. I'm gonna give you seven phrases. And you have to answer them. The first thing that comes out of your mouth is what it is. If you hesitate, you got to take a sip of your champagne. Okay. And um, we'll go back and forth and we'll okay. just play until we, we can't no mo. Okay. Who is Venus? Me. Perf. See? You did good. Next question. What is the last lie you told? Oh, Mac. I won't get into that story. Um, that's for another day. Okay. Fair enough. What are balls? You. You can't keep saying me. <laughs> Take a drink. You said me last time. There was hesitation. Oh my god, fine. All right, your turn. Who's the last person you creeped on on Instagram? Um. See, I already won this game now. Oh my god. It was... Oh shit. I'm not even going to say it. So I'm just going to drink and not say it. So. Okay. You're lame. Mm. It was my ex-boyfriend. It's fine. Whatever. He started dating this other girl, so I was like, ugh, I have to creep. I'll keep it on the show, because who cares? I'm being authentic, you guys. I love it. <laughs> I know what his name is, too. Yeah, it's fine. Um, who spelled the artichoke dip? I did. Okay, you can't keep making your answers you. That is cheating. I need you to be a little bit more creative. I should have made rolls beforehand. Okay, now from now on, you can't say yourself or me. Okay, whatever. Okay, next question. Who is the celebrity you've had a bad encounter with? Keith Ledger. I didn't hesitate, but I've never met him in my life, but... So back to the first question. What is the last lie you told? <laughs> uh, how many shots does it take to black out? Ten. No, that's, that's pretty valid. I would say I'd black. I would probably be hospitalized at that point. I like that. I like but that. You'd still be blacked out, right? So, well, yeah, I'd be blacked out, passed out, and they're like, we need to IV her ASAP Rocky. So, yeah. If you could trade places with anyone, who would it be? You. Oh, I just ruined my own role. Okay. But it would be you. But that's really flattering. Because I do love you. I'll let that Okay, happen, perfect. Yeah. I'll drink any. Yep. <laughs> Who is Sarah Palin? My grandma. Mm. It could be it could be viable. I like it. I like it. What is your biggest deal breaker with men? <gasps> insecurity. Mm, love that one. Yeah. I like obviously everyone has insecurities, let me just preface that. But when a guy is like really insecure and really emotional, like I'm very I'm very loud and confident in myself, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like so I have to date a guy that, like, knows who he is. I like that, too. Yeah. Assertive. Yeah. Man too. And I feel yeah. like we both have really big dreams, so I have to be with somebody whose dreams are match mine or they're even bigger. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? I don't have time for, like, insecure yeah. men. Mm -mm. No little boys here. No little boys. I need a man. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. See a winner, grab a winner. Mm -hmm. That's right, girl. You tell him. Mm -hmm. Describe Kim Jong-un. An Asian man who kills people. Damn! And runs a monarchy. Oh, my God. I think he runs a... Like, a monarchy? That's like... Oh, am I going to look like the other one here? Um, diagnose me. Depression. <laughs> what? <laughs> that literally was the first thing that came to my head. Let me, let me clarify. Depression. Clarify? After she found a cockroach in her bed. Yeah, well that was go. straight up fear. <laughs> what do you think is the sexiest thing about yourself? Hmm. My... I feel all hesitation coming yeah, from this Yeah, it's a lot area. of hesitation. Well, yeah. My, okay, well, uh -huh. mm. I would say my personality. <laughs> yeah. That's cute. Is that sexy? I think it's sexy. Yeah, personality. A sexy personality can get you a long way. Don't be a bore. <laughs> and don't be a whore. And don't also be a whore. We don't... <laughs> We don't want that no more. But we still love you if you are. And we still, you know. Support everything you do. Everything you do. If it's for your family. If it's for your family <laughs> and your small children. Um, on that note, land in late night, you land guys. Land late night. It's a late night. <laughs> Forgive us for what was said. <laughs> Thank you for being on my show. Oh, thanks, love. You bring me so much joy. Let's go get some freaking marks. Yeah. Yeah? Taco... It's Wednesday. Whatever. We're making it a Taco Tuesday. There we go. I love you. Yeah. Guys, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Land of Late Night, with me, your host, Haley Ringo. Um, each week, we'll be releasing an episode every Tuesday night, 8 p.m. And below, I'll put the link for Lexi Swimmer Line LDLA. We'll give you a code for um, some swimwear at a discounted cost using code LANDED. 
Woo! Woo! All right. Bye, y'all.